Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about a small but very useful MIDI feature implemented in Cakewalk by BandLab. Basically it's about um, scaling velocities of MIDI notes in the piano roll. Very useful if you want to create convincing drum rolls or maybe want to connect um, to sections of a song that maybe do have different dynamics and you want to have a smooth transition between them. Uh, great tool, easy to use, great time saver. If you like the video, please leave me a like or even a comment. And I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button down there. Let's not waste any time, just dive right into it. Let's say you do have something like this. Please have a listen. But you want to have something like this. Well, for those of you uh, who didn't get the difference, I'm playing it again. And please uh, listen to this transition area from bar 13 to 14 and please watch these velocity indicators here. Please listen again. This is a very sudden change in dynamics. It's going from a medium soft velocity to <clears throat> to a harder velocity uh, which is more intense but a very sudden change in the second example the purple one it's slightly different there the dynamics uh, are gradually increasing it's a more smooth transition from bar 12 to 14. It's more musical. Well, it depends uh, what you want. Sometimes you want to have a sudden change, but most of the time uh, you want to have smoother transitions. And I'll show you how to get there. Mm. Well, <clears throat> first you have to decide uh, which notes the transition, this gradual change increase in, in velocity should affect. And let's say I want to have two bars as a, as a transition. I'm selecting all the notes and then in the, at the end um, I'm hitting the control key on my keyboard and um, I'm approaching with the mouse the upper area of the last MIDI note of this section. Left click and then drag to the top or to the bottom and then you see BAM uh, what's happening. Please watch the, mm, the bottom area, the green lines, which indicate the velocity of the MIDI notes. And there you have it. You'll get an, a gradual increase of velocities and the dynamics between the notes are staying relative to each other. Well, that's a nice and neat little feature. Um, to even... Uh, no, not, not to even... Um, a different situation you could have is um, in the softer area. Maybe you decide uh, to have it even more soft or maybe louder in general. <clears throat> what you now could do, well, uh, without hitting any key, you could select everything. Then approaching a random MIDI node of the selection. Uh, once this indicator of the mouse cursor is showing the some graphs which indicate the velocity uh, and then you could drag to the bottom or to the top and all the velocities are increased or decreased but as you see um, they are all decreased or increased by a certain and uh, stable a similar amount by the same amount <laughs> um, but if you, but what if you don't want that what if you want to have it more musical that all the velocities are not changing in this in the uh, at, at, with the same amount. What if you want to have the velocities changed relative to each other? Well, we're doing the same, selecting uh, the whole area, all MIDI nodes, and then not hitting the control key, but hitting the shift key. And then doing the same 
And now watch what happens. Yeah, you're seeing all velocities are increased or decreased um, depending on whether you're tracked to the top or to the bottom, but they are not decreased or increased by the same amount. They are increased and decreased by a certain ratio and they are keeping relative to each other. Okay, I hope that helps a bit. In the next video, I'll tell you a bit about uh, a more sophisticated way of scaling MIDI events, not only velocities or MIDI notes in the piano roll with a different feature, with another feature. Okay, stay tuned and take care. Bye-bye.